So my journey uh, with the brain started a long time ago when I was a teenager and going on a conference with my dad, who's a particle physicist, and asking him, yeah, what are you doing? What are all these equations on the boards? And he said, well, we're trying to model chaos. And I was like, oh, that's very interesting. So how do you do that? And he said, oh, it's very simple. Um, we are trying to predict where bubbles are going to come up when you're trying to boil some water. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. Not. And um, he said, yes, but the bottom has an infinite um, area because we don't like walls. We can't model that. And the water has to be around 80 degrees because any further and becomes too complicated. It's like, great, I think I'll do biology. So what I'm studying at the moment is um, imaging a single molecule in live brain cells. And funnily enough, we find that it's extremely chaotic and they move like crazy in the cells and out of this craziness and chaos came our ability to learn, our ability to walk, to memorize, and so on and so forth. And really, it's very hard to understand how this can happen in such a chaos. The full circles come back because now I'm asking my dad to explain chaos again. Your donations and support will keep our vital research alive and bring forward the next generation of scientific breakthroughs. Please remember us.